Hey guys, if you want to skip the introduction, just skip ahead to 420 in the video, and you'll be right at the first game. Welcome back to the Benji the Bobcat channel. I have uh, a different video for you guys today. Uh, this was from the other day. I like to play at one of my good friend's house. He has a room that he built, and he has two seven-foot valley tables in there. It's a beautiful pool room. It just makes you want to play the game when you're in there. Um, it's just, you know, warm and inviting, kind of like a just a miniature pool hall. Um, I, I love playing over there. My friend's a really good player, and we have just really good games and great practice sessions. A lot of times it will be just a one-visit game for each of us, or just one of us will have one visit and run the table. Um, and I, I just enjoy that kind of play. Um, so you'll see some of that here today in this video, uh, the few games that I recorded. Um, and speaking about uh, playing against other people, I don't mind playing against players of any level. Uh, low, you know, players that aren't the greatest or, you know, kind of medium level players or players that are much better than me. Um, a lot of times, and this happened to me when I was growing up in pool halls, uh, if, you know, sometimes if I'd ask somebody, I you know, I knew they were really good and I asked them if they wanted to play and a lot of times you just get the cold shoulder and I know that happens to a lot of people and they say no. And, you know, you kind of take it, it's kind of rude, I think. But if anybody ever asks me, you know, and I'm not in the middle of something, you know, I always say yes, because I like to play everybody. I just like to play the game. And if you're a player that is a little bit lower level, you're just learning or beginning or, you know, whatever, don't be afraid to ask people to play, no matter what their level is. Um, if they're a really good player, you should really want to play them, because that's that's how I learned playing people who are a lot better than me and I still do try to do that today uh, but play anybody who's at any level um, and that brings me to another point um, you hear this why good players don't want to play lower level players um, is because they say I I don't play the same game that I do when I'm playing against a good player and I miss shots, I don't have nice runs. You should be able to play any level player and play the same game that you always play. And um, it shouldn't matter who you're playing against. You should just play your game. So that's something to work on for the better players and for the uh, players that are just learning or um, you know trying to get better. Don't be afraid to ask somebody to play. You know, the worst they can say is no. But Anyway, I have a few good games here for you guys today from the other day. F please feel free to share my videos with your friends on Facebook or any other um, social media that you're on. It really helps me out to get my videos out to more people. I, I really um, have enjoyed reading uh, the messages from people, the private messages. Uh, asking me to do certain videos. So I'm working on those now. Um, and I should have uh, should have the first one out next week. And uh, so, yeah, if you want to see anything, just send me a message. Uh, and also, please share my videos. But other than that, we'll get on with the video now. Hope you guys have a great day. And we'll see you later. Okay, so this first game, I was really proud of a shot you're going to see here in a few shots. Um, that, uh, I believe it's the 14 there. I'm solid, so I had to break that 14 out of there to be able to make, uh, I can't see it because the screen is so small, the 1 and the 7 maybe. But I had to break that 14 out in order to make those two balls. Um, so I'm going to take this 2 in the corner, knock that 8 ball out to get a back over for the four um i could have taken this four all the way down but i wouldn't have been on the um 
the one the one to be able to to have the angle to break that 14 out. So I take it in the side here and bring the cue ball all the way down the table and back up just a little bit and it'll leave me an angle on the one. So sometimes you have to take a little bit of a harder shot to be able to get the angle you need on your next shot. On a seven foot table, you really don't have a long shot. So even if, you know, this is kind of a long shot on a seven foot table, but it's still not very long. Um, I'm gonna hit this just with center because I do have that angle and I'm hoping to run right into that 14 and knock it out of there. And I did that. Uh, so now I'll just um, put some backspin on the six. Oh, the six was over there. See, I can't even see these balls. Uh, backspin on the seven, and then I'll be on the eight. And a lot of times, more on seven foot tables than nine foot tables, you have balls that are bunched up and you have to break some out. So that's one thing you have to deal with more on on the smaller tables usually. You you do have to break out balls on um on the nine foot tables also, but it it doesn't happen quite as often. Alright, next game. Believe this may be a, I think it's a break and run. We will find out. Yes, it is. Um, this one I had a an easy shot on the three ball, but I I was uh, thinking that I would probably lose control of the cue ball. It may go and hit that. Um, I, I cannot see the balls. My on my editing screen, of course, you guys can't see it. The screen that I'm watching is really tiny, so it's hard to see what balls are. But I was afraid that it would run into one of those balls over there, and I I wouldn't have a shot. So I'm electing to take uh, the ball that's closest to the right hand rail, all the way down in that top right corner, and then I'll just. Uh, I'm going to jack up a little bit on this, and I'll stun it over towards the middle a few inches. Like that. Now I've got that, I believe it's the 10 ball on the side, possibly. And I wanted to take this one next so that I could get that 15 off of that corner, off of the rail. Like that. Now it's easier to make that ball. And I have a choice here either of that. Uh, I believe that's the nine ball in the top left. Uh, or the one that's going into the bottom left corner. And that's what I took so that I can get on the next ball into this bottom right corner. I can basically just stop the cue ball there. Now for this one, I'm going to go back up the table for that nine ball. You'll see where I'm, where I want the cue ball to travel, right there in that line next to that five ball. So I'll use low left because the cue ball is going to be traveling back towards me, like that. And. Uh, I wanted to get on that, uh, I believe it's the 12th ball in the, towards the right top corner. I wanted to get on that ball next. So I'm, I'm going to use low left here, as you can see. And I didn't quite travel far enough. And I, I think I was worried about that 5 ball being in the way. So I chose to shoot the 15 next. And uh, just come off the rail a little bit. So low right. And I wanted to be on this ball so I could just draw it back. But 
traveled a little bit too far. Um, if I would have drawn it back, it would have actually, uh, I believe it would have gone into the 7 or, or right over there towards the 8. So I had to put top right on this and go up and come off of that top rail and then off of the right hand rail here and back down for the 8. Not a super complicated run, but a little bit, um, a little bit of stuff to figure out there. Um, this was just a, a short run, I believe. Yeah, I had, I remember I had a little bit of an issue, uh, with that. Looks like the 15 ball in the top right corner. Uh, here I'll use top left, come off of the bottom rail, and then that right rail, kind of like that shot in the last game. Well, it's the same exact shot, actually. And then I'll shoot that 10 ball next. I believe it's the 10, 10 or 14. <laughs> and I'll just draw this back. That 15 is in a play. It's kind of, it's in a tough place, even though it's really close to the pocket. Um, I didn't get on this ball the way I needed to. Um, you can see I was gonna put top spin, and then I decided to put back spin. I just was not in a good spot, so I decided to bring it back and uh, take the longer shot. But now I can put top spin on it to get to take the ball two rails over for that eight and even still I cut it close you'll see I run right into the eight got lucky though oh and this was just a, a really good shot um I was having trouble deciding what to do here because I had that 11 and whatever the ball is in front of it towards the pocket here, the 15 maybe, um, to get back on that 11 for the next shot. So I decided to put low left and bring it back uh, three rails, one, two, three, to get behind the 11 to take it down in this bottom right corner. So just a... You know, kind of a cool shot. And this one, I believe, is another run. I'm taking that six ball in the top left corner with top right. Ran into that three, which was fine. And I wanted to be on this two next, which I actually, I got lucky that it hit that three or else I would have been down table farther. But still, I had the 7 or the 5 next. Um, take this 2 and go off the top rail. Um, I didn't get perfect on the 4. I'm kind of straight up and down the table for the 4. But I'm going to cut it into this bottom right corner. And I believe I run into the 8 ball here. Yeah. Yeah, because I had mentioned that I was afraid I was going to knock that 8 ball in. But I, I slow rolled it. And I've got the uh, seven next. And I'll just back the cue ball. Um, I tried to stun it over for that five. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm saving that three ball for the last shot before the eight ball. I'm going to use uh, top right and put the cue ball uh, close to the rail over on that far side. And, and make the one ball in the same pocket. So just top right there. And that's just a speed shot. And I hit that perfect, actually. And here I can just roll this ball ahead a little bit. For the three in the side. If I can stop it there or stun it a little. Yeah, just basically stop it for the eight ball. And that's another game.
Okay, next game. And on this one, I had a dry break. Because I'm up fairly decent. Not too many problems. And my friend is going to take, I believe he's taking the five ball in the corner. He's just going to stop it there. Um, oh, no, he ran across the table for the six next. He's got the six, then the seven. So he'll just roll this a little bit forward. I'm not sure if he stops it here or follows. That three may go in the bottom right. We'll find out here. I'm not sure. Oh, he's putting backspin. Okay, so now he's got the four ball in the top left. Uh, I believe he'll take the... He's hitting it high. Okay, high right. Came over. And I think he wanted to go past that three just below it so he could have shot the three in that top right corner, but he's still on um, the two ball, I believe, in the bottom left corner. Good shot. Now he's got the three in the top right. I think he had a little bit of a funny angle here. Um, oh, he's got, I, I didn't see that ball. Okay, so he'll just play this off of that bottom rail and up for the three. Okay, this is where he had the funny angle on the three. He had to put topspin and come off of uh, that top rail, I believe. Oh, okay, I didn't realize he even took it in the top left. <laughs> oh, I can't remember these games. And he's got a nice shot. It was a little bit tight against that 11 ball there, but he was able to make this for the nice run out. Good run. Okay, last two games. I think he had a dry break here, and uh, one of our other friends was playing him this game. He makes a couple nice shots. That 12 in the corner, and then bound for that 13 in the same corner. Or is he solid? Maybe that was a solid. <laughs> oh, I can't see. I think he's going at the seven. Oh, yeah, he couldn't hit it. Okay, so my friend, other friend is back up at the table, and he runs this one out. I guess that was his ball. I thought it was ball in hand. Okay. So three ball, and he stunned it up the table a little bit for the six in the top right. Or he's got the one in the bottom right. I think that's the one. Good shot. He's got the seven, and I believe he can just stop it right there for the two in the right top. Um, he can stun this just back out to the center of the table, or he can draw it back towards him. Not sure. Oh, okay, he just um, followed it over to the right rail for the five. So he's got the four or the five here.
or the one. One for the five, and um, I believe he'll just draw this back for the four. And then he can just stop the cue ball right there at the four, or he can draw it back some. So he's going to choose actually to, to take the one first because he can use that four to get on the eight better. So he'll just uh, use top spin. Oh, uh, looks like a little bit of top right to go over two rails. Just a tad bit short, but he's still on the four. Oh, how's he going to get on that eight? He can draw it out back to this right hand rail and back over. Yeah, nice shot. And then uh, he can take this eight ball all the way down. Good run. Good game. All right, last game. Um, oh, this was just the, uh, the end of a run out here. Um. I had that nine ball. You can see it down in this bottom right corner. I don't know what happened to the lighting here, but um, I couldn't make that nine anywhere. So I'm trying to plan on how I'm going to break that out of there. And I'm marking out where I want to be on the on the uh, next ball, which is either the, I have no idea what it is. But uh, I'm going to leave an angle on it right there. I've got an angle on it, and I have to knock that ball out of there. and. That's what I'm planning right there. Because I have this other ball on the top right that I can make. So now's my chance to break this ball out. Um, because I'll still have that ball on the top right. So I'm going to take this ball off of that top rail. And just run it into that ball. And I've knocked it out into the open. It's makeable now. And I can't make that ball, but I still, like I said, I still have that other ball in the top corner. So uh, breaking out balls is something that you you have to really think ahead. Sometimes you can break a ball out right away. Sometimes you have to wait a couple shots before you do it. Um, I did not hit this one the way I wanted to. I just needed to, uh, well, I was pretty straight on. I needed to draw it back. I just didn't get the draw. And I see that happening a lot uh, with, you know, a lot of players. You want to draw the ball back and you're aimed low on it. But when you actually go to hit it, your cue, your tip raises up and you hit the ball, the cue ball in the center. So you don't get any draw. That's what I did there. Uh, so I'll just use top right here and go around uh, what two rails. I believe two behind. Oh, I went three. Okay, well, I couldn't tell the angle there. That was a good shot to get on the eight. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got a couple of cool ones coming up very soon. I've also got a snooker series that I'm going to be starting um, at a friend's house. He's got a snooker table, a 12 foot snooker table. And those videos should be a lot of fun. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.